Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Preston here, and welcome to some, I, I, I guess, a gameplay, man. I don't know, what am I talking about? Okay, three, two, one. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Preston here, and welcome to a blast from the past, some Modern Warfare 3 live gameplay. I'm glad you guys yesterday, by the way, loved the, uh, what was it, the Counter-Strike Global Offensive kind of uh, edited video. I'm glad you guys did, because I definitely want to do more in the future, but since Advanced Warfare is right around the corner, I think we got like 35 days, maybe even a little bit less on it now. Uh, no, I, yeah, I think it's right around that, because like we're coming at the beginning of October. So yeah, about 35, 36 more days, give or take, depending on where you live, and then, you know, if you're going to go to Midnight Relays. Anyways, we can get into those technical details later, but the fact of the matter is that it comes out in a little bit over than a month, and, you know, as you guys know, Sledgehammer, Sledgehammer, lol, Sledgehammer made Modern Warfare 3, and they're making Advanced Warfare, so if you kind of want to get the feel for Advanced Warfare, I, you know, I'm assuming... Playing Modern Warfare 3 or a game, you know, made by them is probably a better way to go about it than, like, playing lots of Call of Duty. Because I know, or Black Ops 2. I know that when uh, Black Ops 2 came out, I played a bunch of Modern Warfare 3, and I was kind of, like, I was kind of, like, flabbergasted, you know? I was like, this does not feel, like, the same at all. And it kind of really messed up my game. I did that a lot for Ghost, too. I thought Ghost was going to feel a lot like Black Ops 2, and I played it a bunch, and I was like, wow. Now I realize how much I really suck at this game, you know? Because Ghost for me never really did end up working out very well. I just always sucked at it. Like, I don't know why, but I just always sucked at Ghost really, really hardcore. And it kind of made things really unenjoyable for you guys and for me. Because I never posted COD gameplay for Ghost when it came out. I, paced, I posted only Black Ops 2, because for me, that's what worked, right? Because I just always been a Black Ops 2 guy. And that's because, like, well, for me, I don't think Ghost made sense. So that probably could be a little bit of the reason why. But yeah, anyways, I think you guys get the point. If you want to prepare for Advanced Warfare, maybe playing Modern Warfare 3 will help you. I don't know. I mean, maybe I should ask Vicstar Ali, one of the people who've actually played the game. <laughs> I didn't really think about doing that. Probably would be the smart thing to do. But anyways, we're having a pretty good game so far. I mean, like, this isn't a bad game so far. We're kind of wrecking these guys, and we got Specialist Bonus now activated. Imagine getting the Moab, not having the Moab, and like, because I haven't got a Moab. In like a year or maybe even longer because I just haven't played Call of Duty, you know, or at least Modern Warfare 3, sorry. Been playing COD, that's for sure, but not Modern Warfare 3. And I get absolutely shut down by an MP7 thermal site. I just can't even begin to explain my frustration sometimes. What the crap, man. I'm telling you, I think some of the Modern Warfare 3 players really kind of like baffle me with their play style. Like, and then not only that, but the bad thing is about being American playing Modern Warfare 3 is that there's just so much more European players. People play from all over France, Belgium, you know, Germany, and basically they play everywhere but the United States. It's so hard to find an American lobby on PC when it comes to Modern Warfare 3 because Call of Duty for some reason on the PC is just really popular in Europe. And then over here in America, it's kind of like, eh, you know, not a whole lot of people play it. Kind of is left in the dust. And it makes it just that much more difficult in lobbies to, you know, do well. Because with this two bar in Modern Warfare 3, you feel it way, way harder than you do back in Black Ops 2. Oh, and another thing is, too, I wanted to ask you guys, would y'all be interested in seeing another season of Preston the Commander? And if you guys are unfamiliar with what Preston the Commander is, it's basically a Road to Commander series and, uh, you know, Modern Warfare 3, but I just, like, you know, call it Preston the Commander. It's just, like, a fun, silly title. And, you know, obviously, it's just going from, you know, the beginning of the level all the way to the last level and uh, seeing how I do at the end, like, tallying up my, my KD, my win-loss ratio, and I have to record and post every single game. And, like, you know, it was really fun because I did, like, 30-minute episodes. It gave you guys a lot of content to watch, and it was just really fun for me to make and create. So if that's something you guys would also be interested in, leave a comment down below and possibly a like if you guys are really nice dudes. I would very, very much so appreciate it. But I'm just totally down for playing some Modern Warfare 3. I know you guys just want some different videos and different content and stuff like that. And I think that's why you guys reacted so positively to the Counter-Strike Global Offensive video yesterday. And it was the fact, too, that I edited it up and I put, I put a good amount of effort into it. As I do with all my videos, even though I don't put a lot of editing into my live commentaries, or any, I still put a lot of heart and, you know, commentary into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like it's just a thoughtless, effortless video that a lot of people tend to think that I post up on YouTube. Which kind of actually makes me sad when I think about it. People think I just go around posting effortless videos that I don't have to try multiple times to record a video, but that is definitely not the case. Recording is hard, man. Recording is hard. Believe it or not, it is not easy. It's very difficult, but it's also the most fun thing to do on the entire planet. So I urge you guys, if you ever want to record, man, go at it. It's so much fun. 
I can't ever, I can never begin to explain how thankful I am to do what I do. So, anyways, don't want to distract from the original topic, which is Advanced Warfare. And I'm really sad that I never got to play it. You know what I mean? Like, all these guys got to play it at events, and never once did, uh, you know, Sledgehammer or Activision contact me to play their game. I was really upset. You know, because, like, I've never been invited to play one Call of Duty game early. The only time I've ever played it early was at a GameStop Expo, and I had a media badge because I applied for it online. But that was the only time I've ever gotten to play a Call of Duty early. And I'm not saying that I deserve special treatment because, you know, I'm YouTube famous or whatever. But all I'm saying, and I, I just called, I got called a cheater. I am not cheating. Don't accuse me of such thing. Oh, you know, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, okay. The only one cheating here is your girlfriend. Aha! Best comeback ever! <laughs> Seriously, immaturity in this lobby just dropped down to like 10 years old. <laughs> I was just thinking that at the top of my head. I was playing a game, and I was like, you know, what's the best comeback to when people call me a cheater? And I'm like, I have it! The one cheating here is your girlfriend! Anyways, terrible comeback. I just, just for lols. Anyways, so I guess that's it for this episode. If you guys would be interested in the Press of the Commander series, or even just some Modern Warfare 3 content, leave a like down below and a comment of what you guys would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome and safe day, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.